back again. happy now for a week now and guys it is a beautiful experience you know especially me guys I'm I'm a Filipino I'm from the Philippines our dog um, our dog in the Philippines is treated a little different you know I'm saying like they're 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 an outside dog and the dog here in the US are inside dog and the last um, the four years I've been in the US I seen how dogs are really treated very special and now it's a challenge for me that I have my own puppy so and I said I'm gonna include it in my blog about training my puppy guys I never trained a puppy before but I've been watching uh, puppy training videos so it's crazy guys because now my dog my puppies knows how to sit now just sit sit and wait that's the only thing they knew so far. Anyway, so I just want to tell you guys about that. So that's the profile picture. But I'm here, guys. And I know I haven't been online or live for a while, but I owe you guys a shout out. I'm probably going to do some shout out here. Hi, Syria. Hi, Cody. Hey, Papi. Hi, Rick Elpi. Hi, Richard Ramirez. Are you going to eat your new toast? Hi, Richard Ramirez. No, that's that's a silly question. No, I know. No, never. We. I know you probably guys said it in our videos before. I know some people in the Philippines do that, but no. Dogs, no. Definitely no. Thank you, Richard Ramirez, for that question. But I'm going to do a little shout out, guys. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And before I start my driving, I'm going to do a little shout out here. Hold on. I have to go back to... I know I want to shout out to Filipina Central, Filipina Central in PA. Hi again, little lady and Patrick. Yes, Cody. I think Richard is kidding. He's kidding. Um, let's just take it that he's joking. Thank you, Cody and George. Thank you for for coming back to my live. But I said I'm gonna do a live. I'm going to do a little shout out here, like a random shout out. I'm trying to get to my to the names it's not joking search said no um shout out to you um vincent bianconi thank you for your comment he said the driver probably used special creamer for you p9 girl <laughs> so special creamer guys i know i love coffee like you know truck truck drivers i think it's hard to avoid coffee i'm just being honest i love coffee guys but I didn't drink coffee every day. It's just, you know, every other day or every time I felt like I needed need, needed it or needed it. Am I saying it right? But, um, hi Scout Weber, shout out to you. Shout out to Happy Chicks as always. And Real Life in LA, shout out to you. Cuteness overloads. Congratulations on your new family member. Sending blessings and love. That's from that's from Real Life in LA. Thank you. Hi, Cynthia Mary. Oh, I'm gonna shout out Cynthia. Um. Hold on. It's not true that only rich things. Hold on. Cynthia is saying something. Hold on. Please don't get impression the doctor and me. Take care. Of that. Oh, I think. Have you read a comment, honey? Looks yeah. like this lady had a real long comment. I don't know what yeah, she, she was she being what she was saying that people and uh Hi hi guys, hold on guys, I'm sorry. I have a real long comment here, but I haven't got a chance to read their comment. Yeah, she she was saying that don't She's, don't get confused by the what you were saying that there's people that take care of their animals. They take them to the vet, they treat oh. them right, they feed In them. In the Philippines? Yes, 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 um, um, I know, I'm, I'm sorry guys, whatever, you probably guys misunderstood what I said about dogs, I'm not generalizing, um, that dogs are not treated good in the Philippines, I'm saying a lot, or majority of the people, majority of the people, that I say, I'm saying majority because there's more, you know, people that can't afford, 
I mean, there's a lot of poor people. There's there's more people in the Philippines that can't buy some food. Let's be honest, guys. I'm from the Philippines. I came from a poor, from a poor country, but I don't know what she's saying. But she's trying to say that um that dogs in the Philippines. Yes, yeah, some dogs in the Philippines are the their breed to the vet veterinarian. Yes, that is true. But but guys, I, I'm going to be honest. We can't even buy rice in the Philippines. How am I gonna bring my dog to the doctor? So to the vet. But anyway, I'm not gonna make it. I don't want to make an argument. But what I'm saying that someone Cynthia Mira she left a long comment. She's talking about. Don't get confused about how we're treating dogs in the Philippines. Some dogs in the Philippines are treated like how they are in, here in the U.S. Because they have money. That's all because they have money. That's why they bring their dog to the vets. They have, they're fed really high quality food. But the area where I grew up, we keep our dog outside because we call it a watchdog. We call it watchdog, you know, and we don't feed them with, anyway, I'm going to make a different video about it, but that comment was from St. Mira to the vets in the, yeah, she's saying, she's saying, please, um, I'm going to read the comment, this is from St. Mira. she said, please don't get that impression that dogs are not being dotted on taking care of and brought to vets in the Philippines yes I know some dogs are being brought to the vets in the Philippines yes I know that but what I'm talking about some are not that includes ours that's too gross okay I respect that comment that is gross your wife lives in the remote and de depressed area in the country where dogs are left to stray and fight for themselves okay so okay that's so that's what she's saying and that's exactly what i'm saying also i live in i grew up in a remote area in the philippines where you know dogs are outside whatever she's saying about the philippines is only true in the place where she lives and other rural areas okay thank you so that's what she's saying thank you mrs chamara you should see how dogs are being treated in urban areas and even in most rural areas. Most Filipinos are dog lovers. That's true, guys. Most Filipinos are dogs as members of the family. That is true. We treat our dogs like members of our family. It's not true that only the rich take takes care of their dogs the way Americans do. Well, yeah, it's not true that not only rich people take care, but I'm talking about bringing them in the veterinarian. I believe only people that has money can bring their vets, their dogs in the vet. I am not rich, but my dogs are very precious to us and regularly visit the vet. Fed and the best dog food and being regularly walk in the park, etc. Well, she might not be rich, but she's making good money. That's what I'm saying because, because I'm going to be honest, a lot of people in the Philippines starve, but they keep their dog. I am sad that your Filipino wife has been saying the wrong things about the Philippines when she's only referring to the place where she lives, a remote area in the Philippines. Well guys, that's that's what I'm saying only. I'm also saying about where I grew up. I'm not saying the entire Philippines. She should stop saying the Philippines when she talks about her experience. I once heard her say that there are no tall buildings or scarred rivers in the Philippines, which is very wrong. Oh my god. No, she yes. talked mama. I li I listened to child. I seen that she I have my body. Miss Angel. Okay. Okay guys, I'm sorry guys. I'm just reading comments here. She made a comment on Corey and, and oh, the wedding? wedding. And you said in the video you she said Hold on guys. You said in the video and where I'm from, I'm from the jungle. Yeah, I'm I from don't the see jungle. Fin, fin, uh, buildings like this. And you said in the Philippines where I'm from they don't have big buildings. I'm She's not used to seeing And she made a comment right on that video. What are you talking about? There's big, there's uh, big buildings. There's skyscrapers in the Philippines. Hi guys. You must be talking about where you're from. Chinese eat birds. And right, you were, right. You said where I'm right. from. I'm um, from right. the jungle. I don't, I don't normally see this. Right, right, Miss Cynthia.
Chamara, I'm sorry about all your interpretation about my videos. My English, guys, English is not my first language, so there are words that I said that probably people would misinterpret that, but she's talking about Saint Chimera is saying that that I should stop saying that she should stop saying in the Philippines when she talked about her experience. Well guys, I'm talking about my experience. Where I grew up. I'm not talking like what I said, I live in rural areas. Guys, there are ask my husband, honey, can you tell them that there are a lot of rich people in the Philippines? Yeah. Yes, they are. Hey, George. Am I not seeing the messages you guys are uh -oh. seeing? Oh, I'm George sorry. Totally know you're reading other messages. Hi, George. Messages. I'm sorry, George. I'm reading the the comment. I'm like uh, getting like a random, like a random comment. Reading a random comment. I'm doing a shout out. I just happened to see a lady's comment about. Um, I mentioned about dog. You know how I'm, guys. It's a different experience for me. I, I don't know. It's. Cynthia Mira, she said she's the, she's not rich, but she she makes enough money to get nice things. So I I agree that she's saying that not everybody. I know I'm sorry. Don't, let's not point her. But what I'm trying to say, um, what my experience in the Philippines. I'm saying I haven't seen a skyscraper in the Philippines. That's the country, I, that's the area I grew up. I'm not referring the whole Philippines. I should probably say that in my video. I, I'm sorry about that. Hi, Damien Rincon. I'm sorry. Here's George, the trucker. Why do Filipinos eat dogs? That's pretty horrible. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Some do, and I don't know why they do that. How come some people put their dogs in cage? Well, if you didn't train your dog, well, then they gotta stay in the cage, I think. I don't know, that's that's how they do it. That's that's their way of taking care of their dogs. I have to put my dogs in a crate, you know, if I'm not if I'm not in in right there, like you know what I'm saying? They're still training. I'm sorry guys, but anyway, I love my puppies, so this is a beautiful experience for me, you know, because when I had dogs in the Philippines, I can't afford to bring them to the vet. So, so far, this is, you know, a good experience for me that now that I can afford them, and that's the best time that I have it. I'm sorry. Yes, John Argan, madali lang siya. Madali, madali lang siya. Um, yung mahirap lang, yung mga liko-liko, yun, so, hold on guys, give me a second, anyway guys, I'm sorry, um, if you guys are getting misenter, enter, how do you call it, guys, whatever, whatever, um, comments I say about Philippines, I'm not putting my own country, I love my country guys, so much, I love my country, Philippines. So I'm not putting our country down or I'm not putting anything down. I'm just being honest because there's a lot poor people than rich people in the Philippines. And my experience is my own experience. What I'm sharing are my own experience. So when I said there's no skyscraper, yes, there's no skyscraper in our town. That's all I'm saying. But in Manila, there are a lot. Hold on. Don't get me wrong guys, there are areas in the Philippines that the cost of living is more expensive in the US too, so dogs are good champions. That's you, Damian Brancon. Langston Johnson, the puppies look adorable, Pinay. Thank you, Langston. George Vitoli, curious curious George, the truckers, the ones that eat dogs are living in extreme poverty. It is the only meat they can find. Thank you so much, George. I'm I'm so happy guys that that Especially George, that you guys are open-minded or whatever. <laughs> Should I say that? Yeah. Anyway, guys, guys, let me know if you think I'm portraying my country, Philippines, as a bad year. It's not bad. Philippines is beautiful. 
Why do Filipinos like karaoke so much? Hi Gears Dog, that's a nice question. Well, we like to sing. We do like to sing. It makes us, you know, excited. Makes us happy. I know I don't have a good voice and I do like karaoke. It's like a way of, you know, getting together, you know? So instead of, instead of, uh oh, instead of, I mean, that's just a way of the party or stuff like that. We sing like it's a that. Cheap form of entertainment. Yeah, it's for entertainment. We like to be entertained. Wow, really? Philippines is expensive than the United States. Okay, wow, really? Philippines is expensive than the United States. Okay, I'm sorry. I said there are some areas in the Philippines that are more expensive in the U.S. Go to Makati. So, guys, I'm not generalizing. I'm not saying the whole Philippines. I'm referring to some area in the Philippines. Oh my gosh, I need to be very careful what I say because um, a lot. I, I am, I am. Poor, oh yeah, I better not even say it. I think I'm not even gonna talk about you know that because a lot of people are getting misinterpreted what I say which is sad you know no it's less than just no it's not just some areas but there are a lot of guys there are a lot of there are a lot of American bloggers they'll tell you about their experience living in the US I mean, living in the Philippines like um like I forget their name there's so much blogger guys they, you know, they tell you their experience, you know, how much, what's the cost staying there and stuff like that. I think that was too bright. Hi, Lorenzo Gibson. Hey, I do a lot of research. Thank you, George Vitoli. I have a lot of time in my hands, LOL. So I have a lot about a lot of places, even though I have never been there. That's so nice, George. I think that's one thing I can advise is you do a lot of research. That's, that's good, George. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm good, Lorenzo Gibson. I'm just killing my time here before I start my driving. I'm just waiting for my break to be over. I just wake up two hours ago. You're welcome, little lady. Thank you, George. I know, happy puppy. I wish happy chicks still are. Happy chicks, are you still here? Happy, ch happy chick is from the Philippines too, so she cares a lot of stuff. Too about the Philippines but anyway yeah Filipinos love to dance also I mean our ants we eat you know that's like that's what we do and we clean the house that's pretty much we do rest area rest area map okay so it looks like some rest area open now Early, um a few days ago most of the rest area were closed George Vitola, I find it a little funny that as soon as you see little lady, you know right away that is me. <laughs> yes, and thank you, George. Thank you, George. Anyway, guys, thank you for uh, checking out my channel. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna read some comment again. So, um, this Cinchamera, I don't re reply to her later on, but I'm sorry that she misinterpreted my. Sandra Osborne, shout out to you, Sandra Osborne. The fun will begin. Enjoy. Oh, that's nice. I'm all excited. You guys, I want a dog for a service dog. Wow, new color. Hello, grandma. Hi, shout out to Ken Fillmore. Wow, it's getting dark here now. Shout out to Ken Fillmore. And hold on. I'm. Uh oh, it's getting dark in here now. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. Let me. Sometimes, guys, I can't read your comment so I'm gonna hold on hi Mike hi Mike shout out to you Mike and shout out to John Paulo Flora what dog breed is that so that hi happy chicks um that's a golden doodle so that's a mix of golden retriever and poodle so it's a standard I love this dog of yours thank you Hi, John Jassy down from Georgia. Shout out to you. Hi, Dodong Baksikian driver. Shout out to you. Baka pwede makapasok dyan. Oh, looks like Dodong Baksik. Shout out to you. I think he's a he's a truck driver too. Genesis Augustine. Shout out to you. 
Hi, Happy Chicks. Hi, Cody. Diomar Wanello. Shout out to Diomar Wanello. I admire you and your husband. Keep safe. Always God bless. Puppies are so adorable. Hi, shout out to you to Alana. Alana K, thank you, Alana K. Jiminy Vlog. Wow, so many cute puppies. That's what Jiminy Vlog said. Shout out to you. Hi, Anthony, Antonio Luis. Luis. Wow. Did... Hey, Boris, cute puppies. Shout out to you. Anyway, guys, hold on. Did you... Happy chicks. Hi, jo... Hi, hi to you, happy chicks. Thank you. Um, anyway, guys. And what part of it? Okay. So Perry War Perry um wanna maker shout out to you. He left a comment. Um he said, Hi John, just wondering what part of the Philippines you are from, dear. My fans is from Cebu and about the same size as you. A real letter energizer. Oh wow. Energizer body. Love your videos. Thank you, Perry. I'm I'm also a driver to 32 years of driving. Wow, we're so some, some companies. Great videos and be careful out there and you're happy also. Well that's nice. Um Perry Perry wanna maker, shout out to you. I'm from Morongan. It's Visayas, it's Eastern Visayas. So I'm from I'm from rural areas guys. I'm from a province. So I'm not from a big city. Cebu is a big city too, so so I just wanna let you know guys that I'm not from the big city, which most of you guys know that already. So whatever experience I have here in the US, I am I'm always fascinated because I never most of the things I'm experiencing here I never experienced it in the Philippines. Which is sad, but but I'm grateful that that I'm given a chance, you know, to experience beautiful things, you know, in life. They said life is short. So we should enjoy our life which i'm so happy about it and and to all people that i'm inspiring thank you guys i'm i'm happy i'm someone i am somehow inspiring people that i i am i'm loving it anyway oh it's getting dark ingat oh we say john aragon we salamat salamat james aragon thank you Another um Timmy Ryan. Hi Timmy Ryan, shout out to you. Hi Dan Dan. Dan Dan, shout out to Dan Dan. He said Daxes are so cool. Aww. Shout out to to Rex Honey. Rex Honey, shout out to you. I'm glad you're having fun with the puppies and I hope you you and Feller are taking care of yourself because of the coronavirus. Yes, we are, thank you. Matthew, my Matthew, I shout out to Matthew, guest singer. Am I saying it right? Hello, the puppies are so cute. Please take care of the puppies. Oh, thank you. Happy chicks, thank you also. Anyway, guys, so yeah, I'm just, I'm still on the truck, guys. So we're gonna be off tomorrow, which is Saturday. And gosh, for our babies, everywhere so cute. Hello, happy chicks. <laughs> Thank you, Happy Chicks. Real Life in PA. Shout out to Real Life in LA, I mean, not PA. I want Pinai Wife. Hi, Jim West. Aww. I wish you find one, Jim. Shout out to Real Life. You're so amazing, woman. You're so funny and cute. Thanks for sharing with us. Sending much love. Thank you, Real Life in LA. Benzel Al Aldaba. Benzel Aldaba. Um. He's asking how how did I learn how to drive double tracks here guys I I went to school here uh oh I'm sorry um um George is asking is it a culture shock for you little lady you came from a poor area and now you're living comfortable not worrying how you're going to eat well some um I met my husband guy I mean my husband and I get, oh, oh, hold on. I met my husband 2012, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It was four years, guys, before my husband and I got married. I was in the Philippines. Um, We were in a long distance relationship for four years. And my husband, he's so, oh my God. My husband is a good trainer. I said trainer because he trained a lot of drivers. He is, 
he can talk. He can tell anything. My husband never, how do you call that one? He never missed any, any word of advice. He can tell me. He tell me what it's like here in the U.S. He tell me what to expect. He tell me that all kinds. My husband tell me all kinds of stuff. Basically, he told me everything. He said that, you know, he's he's not a rich guy. We make we make a lot of money here in the U.S., but we have more stuff here. So he told me all kinds of things about bills. He told me about bills. So it wasn't that a culture shock to me when I first got to the U.S., even though I am from a poor areas in the Philippines. Because, plus I watch TV, guys. Television. We have TV, even though I was poor, even though the area I grew up was a poor country, we have TV. I was able to view what it's like to be in those, in a bigger country. So it wasn't a cultural shock to me. Plus, maybe because, plus my husband, he started to expose me. How do you, can you explain it, honey? Maybe I'm gonna ask my husband, but he does. We have bills in the Philippines too. That's an example. We have few scooters, and and I go and pay the bills every month. Even though I didn't have a job, I just showed that my husband was making the money. So I had scooter bills. I had bills, scooter in the Philippines. That helped me understood understand what it is like to be in a. What it's like to have everything and have big biggest responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know how, what what else to say, but I was it, it wasn't a culture shock. I could I I did I never even felt homesick. Probably because my daughter was around. But, but guys, I'm telling you guys, I didn't know where hot water was coming from. That's true. I don't know where the hot water was. I thought there's a guy behind the wall holding a bucket full of hot water. That's what I thought. But my husband, the thing is, the thing is, guys, you just have to be honest. What you know and what you do not know, that's the key. The key. So that's what I did. I told my husband, I don't know what a hot water is. I don't know how to check into a hotel. Well, he told me how to do it. Oh, and I'm not shy to tell you guys that I don't know how to check in a hotel. That kind of stuff. But you just get to observe and, you know, you have to observe your environment. Culture, culture is learned. So, I learned the culture here. You know, you just, that's, it's, it's not hard. If you, if you divert, if you, if I try. Try, for example, my culture in the Philippines and culture here. If I try to insist my culture here around, I think that I'm gonna be a Damien. I, I don't know how to say it, but I don't know. Anyway, we can talk about our dog, guys. <laughs> what is it? James West. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get going now, but. But maybe I'll make a different video because it sounded like few people, um, few Filipinas are not are not very happy about about what I say. Whatever they are, I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna make it clear. The only thing I can clear you guys right now is whatever I'm saying. I'm about my about my experience is is what I experienced is where I grew up. I grew up in a rural areas, not in an urban places where there's skyscrapers. There's skyscrapers in the Philippines, but not in there where I grew up. So that's the only thing I can say right now. I'll make a different video, guys. But anyway, I am now full of energy and I can drive six or eight miles. All right, guys. Love you all. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, George. Happy chicks. Happy puppy. Cody and all of you guys, thank you so much. Hi, Langston Johnson. Be safe on the road. You too. Thank you, jo thank you, Johnson. Are you a truck driver too? How about you, Jim? Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.
sorry George see you later guys I'm gonna make a video hopefully you know I can do it I only have few breaks bye bye love you all oh be safe long sun Johnson have fun driving you take care also okay all the truckers out there bye bye